Hi, it's Katie. I just thought we'd come on and just do a really basic demo for creating a basic drop earring. So looking at working with head pins and pre-made earring findings and how to finish off that loop at the top. So I'm going to show you two different ways. So here we have the two different versions. So this one is a wrap loop. So this is the most, most secure way to fasten your earrings together. So to the most secure way to create your loop and that loop won't unfasten. So you won't be able to open that loop to add it to anything. So you'd have to use an earring finding way you can open the earring finding to add the actual earring that you've made. Now this one is called a simple loop. So this, this is a simple loop at the top and you will be able to open and close that loop in order to add it to your earring finding. Okay, so we're going to start off with doing the simple loop first. And the tools that we're going to be using are, we're going to be using round nose pliers to create our loop. We're going to be using flush cutters or side trimmers and um, either some narrow um, flat nose pliers or some chain nose pliers. So I'll just move those out of the way slightly just to begin with. So I've popped my beads onto a head pin and we're gonna make that simple loop. So to make the simple loop, what we need to do first is to create a bend as close to the top of here as possible. Now you may be able to use your fingers, but I prefer to get a nice sharp bend. So I will pop my pliers in just so there's only the very, very bare little tiny piece of wire at the top there and start creating that bend. And I'll bend it till I'm almost at 90 degrees like so. So, and from there, I'm gonna snip my wire off because I just need enough to make that loop. So I'm going to snip my wire off at around about a centimetre from that bend. So snipping there and then we're going to take our round nose pliers and I'm going to, this is just a standard pair of round nose pliers and I'm going to come down probably about just over half a centimetre so you will get to know your own pliers and where you need to be for the length that you cut but it's going to be around about there on my pliers. Okay, so and then all I'm going to do is roll that back towards my gemstone. So I'm going to roll it back as far as I can and then reposition and then back as far as I can. And now you will find that you have a nice perfect round on the top of your bead rather than just trying to, if you were to leave it straight, and then roll it round. So if I just show you on this little bit of scrap wire, if I was to roll it round off a straight piece, so just rolling it round until I came back to the bottom, what I end up with is a kind of a, a P shape, or we see that there, there we go. That's what you end up with. That's not what you want. That's not gonna give you a professional finish. What you want is that perfect round at the top of your bead. So make sure that you make that little angle first, that almost 45 degrees, and that will give you that really professional finish. And that's your simple loop. So to add those to your ear wires, you can either, using your chain nose pliers, open the loop on the top of your bead, the one that we just made, so opening it, and then popping it straight onto your ear wire, and closing. And closing that loop and making sure that you get a really good closure on that loop so there's no gap that your ear wire could come apart with or you could do it the other way and open up the loop on your ear wire so we open it whenever we open up a loop we don't pull it outwards we pull it upwards so that we're actually opening it a little bit like a door sort of thing and then you're just going to pop that on there and close your loop there so you can add those either way like so so that's your pair of earrings made so then we'll just go over how to do the wrap loop finish so again I've pre-threaded my beads onto a head pin and I'm just going to take and this time I'm going to take my thin my narrow flat nose pliers this is because I know this is about three millimeters so I know I can get three wraps in that gap so if you were working on a pair of chain nose pliers you would go sort of about here. You could mark where your three millimeter mark is. So this time I'm gonna push my bead right up to my pliers and then I'm gonna make that angle away. So I've made 
exactly the same thing. I've made an angle to work my loop from so that I get a nice round loop. Now I'm going to take my round nose pliers, pop them in at the same point because I want the same sort of type loop and I'm going to bring this around to the opposite side. So I've brought that, that right angle that we had around to the opposite side there. Then I can reposition my pliers, so I've just turned my pliers around and then I can take this underneath like so. Now I can take out my pliers and then I'm going to hold that loop with my either chain nose or flat nose pliers and then start running this around. So just working this tail, wrapping around the piece of wire that's going through my beads and because I spaced it out nicely I know I can get three nice wraps in there. So I've got my nice round at the top and then I can snip this little piece off here and just squeeze in that end to make sure it's nice and neat and then we've got a matching pair of loops on the top of these ones too and again all we do to add to our ear wires is using a pair of chain nose or flat nose pliers open up that loop and pop our earrings on now we just need to look at when you've done this that you make sure that where you've ended your wire is going to sit towards the back of the earring just to make it nice and neat so that one's done and I'm going to add this one so opening up my loop making sure that my end is going to sit towards the back and closing so there you've got two pairs of earrings ready to be worn both are different types of loop but it's just covering the basics of how to create a loop at the top of your earring or even if you're making rosary links connectors that sort of thing you could if you were working with an eye pin you could make your loop at the top and then add another dangle kind of thing at the bottom but just creating it really nicely and professionally and consistently for both ears is going to give your piece a really professional look. So thank you for uh, watching my video. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done already. I'd really appreciate that. And pop me a like below. Uh, leave me a comment of what sort of videos you'd like to see. And I will see you again very soon. Take care.